What is going on my Guardian Gamers is I, Birdman, back with another Destiny 2 build. And today I'm going to be showing off just kind of a fun build. Um, nothing like too crazy, uh, extravagant, anything like that. Uh, it is just using a pretty classic Titan Exotic, uh, but it's had some changes over time and I kind of just wanted to see how it was doing uh, mid season 23. But before I get into the video, I know you can follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on this video and let me know what you're interested in seeing down below, whether it's Titan Hunter or Warlock. Uh, subscribe and become a member to really support the channel. Now, let's jump right on in. Now, we always like to talk about the exotic armor piece for this build, and that's going to obviously be the Hall of Fire Heart. This was introduced back at the beginning of just Destiny 2. Uh, it reads, Sunfire Furnace. Solar takedowns while standing in a sunspot create a sunspot. Greatly improves recharge rate of your solar abilities while your super is charged. Provides a small benefit to airborne effectiveness stat of all weapons. Now, uh, over time, this has changed. Um, the first part of this has been the most recent thing that has been updated that uh, while standing in sunspot kills and whatnot uh, are going to also create another sunspot. That is just really kind of awesome in my opinion, just purely off the fact uh, it's just really easy activation of those uh, sunspots that are one going to give you soul invictus that's going to give you that restoration uh, all those good effects but also they just kind of sit around and are like just like fire wither hordes on the ground that are just going to burn enemies uh, create scorch on them and just continue to just uh, cause mayhem and havoc um, obviously in this season where we're really kind of focused into solar especially on the artifact this is standing out a lot now let's look at everything you're going to be needing for this setup um first up on your super i've been running the hammer of soul just because it runs with a lot of sunspots and stuff like that but uh if you don't really care about your super and don't really care about using all those sunspot with it i recommend probably using the burning mall just purely off the fact that it has a slower uh or a shorter cooldown time on it ability wise i recommend throwing hammer because one it's just going to be easy cure for you uh but also just a ranged melee is always a benefit and then a thermite grenade is probably my grenade pick uh over something like a healing grenade uh just purely off the fact you're going to be constantly creating those sunspots um, you're always going to have that restoration constantly going. Uh, this one is going to be just a bit more of an offensive pick. Uh, but obviously, if you feel like you're not really doing that well, you can always just chuck on that healing grenade for that easy restoration and cure activation. Aspect wise, I recommend obviously Soul Invictus to really take advantage of this, uh, those sunspots. You, you need to use this if you want to use it. Uh, solar ability final blows, hammer soul impacts, and defeating scorch targets create sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster, and your super drains more solely while standing in a sunspot. Sunspots apply scorch and deal damage to targets inside entering a sunspot applies restoration obviously don't have to explain much there sunspots are good and then finally also roaring flames just because it's going to juice up the uh power on our solar abilities uh, and it can also stack up to three times so e again just easy way to uh, get a little more damage fragment wise i recommend an ember of torches power of melee attacks against combatants make you and nearby allies radiant obviously with the current artifact just getting those precision hits or kills is going to give us radiant but obviously just chucking your hammer and getting that easy activation is always going to be a benefit ember of empyrean solar weapon ability final blows extend the duration restoration and radiant effects apply to you I don't really have to say much about that. Uh, it's just going to it'd be a really good benefit, especially with uh, whatever solar weapon you're using. Ember of Blistering, defeating targets with solar ignitions, grants grenade energy. I really like this, especially when running with like a sunshot, just because uh, we're going to be constantly getting those ignitions. So it means we're going to have great uh, activation of our grenade. And then finally, Ember to Ashes, you apply more Scorch Stacks to targets. I like this a lot purely because of the fact that those sunspots are going to be created more often. Uh, so enemies are going to be affected by it more often and constantly being scorched by it. So this is just a fun one to add on. Now, when it comes to weapons and everything, again, I'm going to kind of leave this one up to you. I think the build really works on its own. It doesn't matter what weapon you're using. It's not really crushing off that. Obviously, this season, a sunshot is definitely a really big benefit just because of everything across the board um exotic buffs that have been happening to it uh the current artifact everything like that is just really nice with it uh but you can also put on something such as a polaris lance uh to do that as well uh only difference only reason why i don't really use the polaris lance in uh versus the sunshot one i don't have the catalyst and two uh scout rifles are just a little bit slower for me when i like a much faster uh type of gameplay I'll just throw this out there, especially again with this season and how everything's going. Uh, Dragon's Breath is obviously going to be a really solid option. One, uh, it can inherently do uh, unstoppable champions with the ignitions it creates, but if you activate the artifact mod uh, for rocket launchers to do overload, you can do overload instead. Uh, again, just would be a definitely a benefit one uh, for this setup. 
When it comes to all the mods you're gonna be wanting to use for this setup, first up on your helmet, uh, harmonic siphon, best option. You're gonna be using solar. You're gonna, you should be using a solar weapon. Should be good with that. Ashes assets just to get that extra super energy uh, quickly. Uh, using your grenade since this is a grenade pro build and then also a heavy ammo finder uh, just to get more heavy ammo on our arms i recommend a solar loader just so that we're able to get a little bit better reload on everything an impact induction so that whenever we hit enemies with our melee it's going to help our grenade cooldown and then a firepower just to get some extra orbs of power from our grenade chest piece i recommend a double charge dump for some extra armor charge stacks and then you can even put on a solar resistance if you really feel like it Legs, definitely recommend just going solar weapon surge. Um, nothing else is really gonna be beneficial. Definitely think that extra 22% damage is a benefit. And then on our Titan Mark, time dilation to make those armor charge stacks last longer. A powerful attraction so that whenever we activate our barricade, we're going to pull in all those orbs of power around us. And then a bomber so that whenever we activate that barricade uh, near enemies, uh, we're gonna get grenade cooldown. On our artifact, the second row, uh, kindling trigger radiant causes solar weapons uh, to apply scorch definitely a big benefit a flint striker so that we're going to get radiant from those weapon precision hits and final blows uh, i also like heart of the flame just because it's going to help out all your teammates uh, whenever you are doing you know not just solo play revitalizing blast causing damage to your solar ability weakens champions a huge one in my opinion that overload rocket launcher always going to be a benefit raise the precision while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite has been huge this season i really like this one uh, it's been a whole lot of fun again especially with something like a sunshot and then solo operative so that i'm just getting that extra damage whenever i am playing solo we always like to talk about how this setup is going to be viable for all the different champions and end game content uh first up on barrier uh we are able to become radiant i recommend just swapping over to whatever your top weapon is i use the scatter signal uh so that i'm able to strip those uh barrier shields a unstoppable I'm simply just going to use my sunshot uh, but even if you're not using the sunshot ignitions from our solar class which is going to be pretty easy to do uh, is able to do that and then that overload i recommend again using a rocket launcher i'm running an apex predator right now it has been a huge benefit to me uh, but again like i mentioned before you can do something like a dragon's breath and get that ability as well thanks so much for watching guys i hope you really enjoy it uh, i think i'm just going to keep on kind of rolling through some you know just basic builds and stuff like that uh do, updating some things especially on titan uh just kind of going into this into the light season uh it's going to be starting in april and then also obviously final shape um in june hopefully we're going to be able to update a lot of these setups going into the final shape just because of uh exotic armor changes and stuff like that so let's just see let's hope uh definitely going to be going pretty heavy in void since titan is going to be getting the void uh kind of like update with that but um uh, then again thank you so much hope you guys really enjoy the video let make sure you let me know down below what you're interested in seeing subscribing liking the video and becoming a member and follow me over on youtube and twitter at birdman778 thanks so much hope you have a great night day whatever it may be